Hey guys, Coach Hunter here with Clint helping me out today talking about something I think is really important uh, to start understanding as you get more advanced with kickboxing, which is pivoting with head movement. Okay, so adding uh, some movement to our head movement, so moving our feet, and then thinking about switching stances. Now, this may not be something you prefer to do. Um, some people, and this was classically through my career, I didn't really switch stances a lot. However, I think that people will do it to you, so you should understand it. You should be able to kind of like have that uh, vision of what's going on. And the second thing is that if you can add just uh, one or two techniques, like one combination that feels comfortable from an opposite stance position, you have this nice option that is there for you in case you need it, okay? Uh, so something I think you should consider at least toying with, and if nothing else, it's fun to play with in training, liven up your training, okay? So let's get into it. Um, we'll start off with just a full work. So we're in a normal position, okay? And we have two pivots we're gonna play with today, or four if you wanna think of it, each side is different, okay? So keeping my stance, I pivot to my face, my lead hand side, my right foot steps out, and I just turn my foot with a standard two-step pivot, okay? So I'm really I'm pivoting on my rear foot, my foot steps out, and I pivot on that foot as my lead foot adjusts to my stance, okay? Pivoting to my rear hand side to face my rear hand side, my lead foot steps out, and I'm gonna pivot on that lead foot as I go out. Now that's a bit exaggerated in reality, but I step out and I pivot, okay? Pretty simple, we covered this in our fundamental series. So with my partner, I can just hit these pivots on their own, and that's often where we start. Where I step out, I just pivot, my partner's gonna do the same to mirror me. Okay, so I step out and pivot, my partner mirrors me. If I pivot the other direction, my lead foot steps out, I pivot, my partner turns to mirror me. I'm always thinking about facing my opponent or partner when we're done. Okay, so both pivots. There you go, right? So now, thinking about the head movement aspect of it. So if my partner throws a jab, I can step and slip. So now I'm dropping my weight onto my leg that I'm stepping with and recovering up my position as I pivot, okay? So without the head movement, with the head movement, right there. So I'm just adding a little drop as I go across. So my partner throws a jab, if I can just pivot, I can often get out of the way. But adding the head movement gives me a little bit more time to make that happen and gets my head out of the way a little sooner. So it's a little bit safer. Right here, boom, and I come back. Now, usually when I think about follow-up strikes, keep it real simple, hit my two, three, ten. Okay? So, I step pivot out off the jab, two, three, ten. Okay? Really simple. Next thing, my partner throws it across, I step pivot out. Once again, dropping my weight onto my leg as I step out, pivot through, and as I pivot, I'm gonna throw this up. Boom, right there. Three, two, three, ten. Could be anything, could be, you know, it doesn't really matter too much. But I'm hitting this like it's essentially a pivot check hook. Okay? As I step out, boom, right here. The tricky part of this hook is making sure that I'm landing this as my rear foot makes contact with the ground and I settle my position, boom, or just after. So my foot plants so I can drive power from my legs just before, just as I make contact with the punch. Okay, otherwise there'll be not really much power on this. So, he goes across, step out, pivot, boom, and then follow that up with whatever strikes I wish, okay? Now, of course, you could just as easily step pivot out and throw your cross. No reason not to, okay? So these are just options. So, let's cover that a couple times on both sides over the jab. Cross. Right there. So now that's totally uh, like totally fine. We covered both angles, both sides, stepping out and pivoting. Let's talk about the stance switch. How is it going to help us? It gives us a couple of things that to the diff couple different looks. Okay, so. Uh, just a forward count on real quick. When I step out now, before I, my lead foot step back in front of me. When I hit this step pivot with the stand switch, I step out and my lead foot's gonna swing behind me. Okay? So it's very similar in the feel to when I went to my lead hand side. 
but now you're stepping out and pivoting. Okay? In some ways, this is kind of more natural. What's nice here is that it puts us into an open stance situation. The partner throws a jab, step out, and I'm pivoting to my opposite stance. So now I have this really nice shot down the center for my cross. Okay, my lead hook is coming around behind their guard very often. And my ground kick is going right across to the body on that open side. Okay? So it's really nice that way. So step out, pivot, two, three, ten. The important thing is to not rush this, okay? When you watch really good uh, strikers, the angle is small so that they can do this quickly. But I don't I want to start throwing punches while I'm floating, okay? Because there's a jab coming through on my foot plant, and then I can fire the two, three, ten. Of course, that could be any combination. Right, on the opposite side of the cross, same thing. I step out, and my rear foot, well, it was my rear foot, now step forward. So I stepped straight across to square. So you throw that dropping in, coming in, and I'm just going to throw that two, three, ten. Okay. Keeping it really simple, keeping it very similar. What's nice is that I can fire a little faster now, because as soon as my left foot hits the mat, boom. I can start firing my cross as my right foot steps forward, and those shots gonna find homes around the guard. Okay? He's gonna show the balls, he's running through them, starting with the jab. So guys, play with that. You can do this just usually shadow boxing as you can with a partner. Um, I think it's a really interesting thing to play with and you can really get a lot of good movement, good practice out of it. So guys, like this video and subscribe to our channel to see all of our content. And as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you on the mats.